So it's four of the clock on Friday afternoon and we've just finished filming part six of Ian's William Morris lap book build. So there it is, all done, all complete, all with the side bits and the inserts all done, all populated with the tags and journaling cards and whatnot. So I've just downloaded all the video um, ready for me to start. Um, editing and get it rendered and uploaded ready for eight o'clock this evening he's just gone out taken the dogs for a long walk because they were being pretty good um until the last kind of like quarter of an hour and they started padding and started um <laughs> making it known that it was time to go out for a walk so yeah it's been a busy day today um we like i said we filmed that this afternoon this morning was spent processing website orders getting them all packed um, and bagged up and parceled up and down to the post office um, for getting them all done and out for the weekend. So thank you to everybody who's put website orders in over the past week. Um, everything that I've got now has gone out. So starting next week afresh. So yeah, it's been a busy day, but I've still got to get all this lot finished and edited. <laughs> so I'd better get back to it. <laughs> Somebody's not impressed, eh? What are you doing? Poor little nip nips. They're tired. Oh, eh? tired. They're all tired. So it's Saturday. Um, I've just completed my second mission inspiration project for, um, we're now gone weekly, as you can, if you remember. Um, so I've just finished that, uh, so I've got to get that finished and edited and uploaded ready for this evening. Um, tomorrow we've got our friends Karen and Steve coming over for Sunday lunch um, and then after lunch we're going to have a little bit of a games afternoon. They're not staying over this time um, because Steve's got to be up for work very early on Monday morning. <clears throat> so it's just going to be a case of uh, come over, have something to eat, play a few games, and then they're going to be going back in the early evening. So that's going to be nice. Going to be looking forward to that one because we don't get to see them um, that often um, outside of work. So it's really nice to be able to have a bit of a social with them as well. Uh, and then, of course, on Monday, uh, we've got our friends Ken Alfie coming over um, because they're coming to um, coming to the wedding with us. So, yeah. So that's going to be a bit of a busy week. Um, so I've got lots of bedding to change. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, busy few days ahead. It's Monday morning, the sun's shining, skies are blue, almost feels like spring, but it isn't <laughs> because it's still um, only one degree outside. Um, we've got a forecast across the UK over the next few days, snow, um, heavy frosts and that kind of thing but just not where we live and we seem to be in the eye of the storm in South Yorkshire and um, everywhere else seems to be kind of snowy and frosty and horrible and pooey and we've got clear skies and and sunshine so obviously the sun shines on the righteous Monday, Monday afternoon, um, 15th of January. Um, so I'm conscious that I haven't yet decorated 
the front or back covers of my new um, Mission Inspiration Traveller's Notebook, um, which was it's got all my new Mission Inspiration projects in for 2024. Um, I've been trying to, I've been thinking about creating a new um, 3D cutout laser cut kit for the front covers of this. Uh, and I was thinking to myself the other day, really what I would like to do is to create some kind of lock and key <laughs> for the front. So I've sat down over the last few days or so when I've had a chance to sit down and do anything. And I've created a new, um, a new kit, a new set, um, which might be easier actually if I turn over to my overhead camera, wouldn't it? Um, let me do that. Let me turn over my overhead camera and I'll show you what I've created. Okay, so let's come to those in a moment. So this is the kind of lock mechanism or the lock plate that I've designed. So there's a frame that goes over the top of there to make that a bit 3D. It's like a, an escutcheon plate. Um, with a whole space there for where the handle should have gone, but we're going to use that for something else. So I've created a frame to go around that. I've also created a little 3D frame to go around the keyhole, but I've also given you three, uh, four large kind of screw heads, so a bit steampunky if you like that kind of thing, which everybody knows I do. But what I've done is I've also designed or created a set of keys, but the actual key bit <laughs> are words. So that's how it's gonna come in a sheet like that. Um, but when they're all knocked out, if you like, ready to work, that's what they look like. So that one's believe, that one says love. That quite, seems a bit bright, doesn't it today, the camera? Anyway, so that one says love. That one says dream, that one says imagine, that one says courage, and that one says explore. So these are all kind of, let's have a look, let's be able to imagine. I imagine that to go with that. So it's going to be one kit um, or one set. So you'll get the sheet of the keys but you'll also get a second sheet in the set same size as that that just has the escutcheon plate and then everything else will be inside it like that but tidier if you know what i mean so that'll be one sheet same size as this and that'll be the other so you'll get both of those together in the kit does that make sense? Um, and as far as how does it fit onto the front cover? Well, just nicely. So if you imagine that sat there, that on there, that on there, four little screws, or on there if you prefer, like so. And then that will sit over the top of there, which will just need to be glued and stuck on. Then you can do all sorts of explore. Or you could do it down the side there if you wanted. You could have more than one key. You could have explore and imagine. Maybe going that way. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be able to sit down and actually do this. Um, get it all glued down, painted. Um, and I'm going to put in that circular, because this is going to be the Mission Inspiration Journal, I think I'm going to put a little circular uh, printout in there that says Top Secret in there. I um, haven't decided yet, but like I said, I'm hoping to get this done at some point by the end of the week. Um, but, you know, the next few days are going to be quite busy, as I'm sure you'll see in a moment when the rest of the vlog goes ahead because <laughs> that's what this film is, is for it's to go into the vlog so yeah if i can get it done by saturday i will do 
<laughs> Fingers crossed. And you know we said we were going to a wedding today. What well, we didn't tell you was. It's ours. <laughs> so yes, we're tying the knot today. So After 24, 25 years. <laughs> so we're both suited and booted with our friends Ken Alfie, which we'll see in a little while. So, see you on the other side. tell you that you are now lawfully married to each other. Congratulations, you are husband and husband. Okay, as we said earlier, we went to a wedding and it's our wedding, we've just got married. Um, it's very difficult to hold it all together after 25 years, but um, he's the most wonderful man in the world and I adore him. Who? Henry Cavell, <laughs> who do you think? <laughs> really? So, so, now, those that were wondering where the ring had gone, now you know why. Got to put a finger, got to put a ring on it. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. How does your hair feel now, Dad? Does it feel a lot better? I feel as if I could do with a cap on. <laughs> do you want to borrow one? Oh, he's home now. <laughs> woolly cap, anyway. Oh, a woolly hat. Uh, you want to yeah, trust you? You're not a big man. <laughs> a woolly hat against the snow. Actually, I am these gloves. I'm going to put them in water and let them stretch. Oh, they're a bit tight. Yeah, the gloves are a bit tight. So, all wrapped up against the cold. Eh? Looks a bit tight, Dad. It is. <laughs> it looks a bit tight, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> <We're> stretching. <laughs> Wave, fill up. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Right. But just tip it so we can see the bubble. <laughs> it's like a big bloody snowball on top of there. <laughs> Looks lovely. <laughs> So just got back from walking the boys, minus five out there this morning. I know that it's nothing in comparison to some of the temperatures that you get over in the States or, or in Norway or Switzerland or that kind of stuff, Finland or even Iceland or Greenland for that matter. Um, but for us, that's pretty damn cold. Um, I had to obviously have the dog's coats on this morning, but even they were very quickly walking, didn't want to put the feet down on the floor for too long. So as you can imagine, it wasn't a very long walk this morning. So just to finish the week off, I just wanted to jump on last and just say, um, I know there's going to be a few questions from people about the wedding on Tuesday. Um, a lot of you are going to be thinking, or oh, probably were thinking, um, well, I thought they already were married. Well, you know, it's one of those things. Ian and I have been together since 1999, so 25 years this year. It will be at Easter, 25 years since we've been together. Um, 12 of those years we've been engaged, but circumstance has never actually been right or it's never really been um, important enough or urgent enough, if you like, to actually just knuckle down and actually get married. So we bought the rings, uh, the wedding rings, um, 12 years ago. <laughs> and we wore them for a while um, and then it wasn't until we actually booked the wedding 
that we decided to take them off again and said, right, we're not going to put them back on again until we are actually married. Um, but literally, we're only wearing them because, well, because we, we just bought them and we, <laughs> we just didn't want them sitting in a drawer for 12 years. Um, not that we knew it was going to be that long. But anyway, so it's just these last couple of years, it's become more apparent that we need to do it as both of us are getting older. Ian's just turned 60. Um, Mum and dad are not getting any younger. Um, Ian's parents have now passed away. So it just seemed right this year. Obviously, we were talking about it before the pandemic started and then that just threw all that out. So 2020 was out the window altogether. And then it's just kind of taken us a couple of years just to get back into that mindset of actually getting down and, and, and sorting it all out. And then when we did start talking about it and started looking at um, dates and things, we then found out that there is such a long waiting list <laughs> where we live that it took forever um, for us to book it. And then we had to wait for the ceremony. Um, and that was like, I think it was like three months, I think. It, we booked it about three months ago. So that far ahead, you know, that's what you've got to get booked in advance. Um, I don't know whether that's normal. I, you know, never had been married before. So anyway, so yeah, I just thought I would kind of jump on and explain um, a little bit about why, you know, why we've just done it. Um, after all this time and you know the fact that most people thought we already were anyway um so as for honeymoons um yes we are going to be going away but not until the end of february uh, we're not going abroad or anything like that um, we're going to take the opportunity of having a few days we're going to be going down to london to the smoke as it's known um, and we're going to be having um three or four days of culture so we're going down and we're going to be doing some of the big museums and the art galleries and we're also going to be taking in a show at the West End. Um, but we're going to be going to see Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. It's the longest running stage show um, that there has been here in the UK at least anyway. Um, I think it's over 60 years the show's been running um, and we've always wanted to see it. Ian's a huge Agatha Christie fan anyway so this is the only thing that he's never actually seen so we thought we'd take that in. And of course, we will take you with us. <laughs> Not into the show, obviously, because you can't. Um, but we will take you down to London um, and do a bit of a vlogging while we're down there on the honeymoon. So I hope that's answered a few of your questions. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll see you next week. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels, because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget, you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.